Hey everyone, it's Eric Dor here. And first of all, let me say happy 2024 and happy new year. I hope your year is going to be amazing. And in this video, I wanna tell you what you could do to make it more amazing. Okay, so first and foremost, MBTI can be an amazing instrument and tool to better understand yourself. It can be a map of your strengths and weaknesses, things you might wanna improve in your life. It can help you understand your thought patterns, your cognitive functions and how you reason and think about the world and how you could learn to think even smarter than you currently do. It is a way to get to know other people. It's the way to connect better with others, to connect with understanding and empathy rather than with judgment and criticism, right? Okay, so what are the five ways that you could use the MBTI to better understand yourself in 2024? Well, the first thing you might wanna do is you might want to engage in and ask yourself and record or write down your answers to my questions. So I prepared a list of questions that you can take if you click the link down below and using those questions, you might find out a little bit more about your life. These questions are written to be more extensive, to give you a bigger, deeper, long-term picture of yourself, not just who you are today, but how you feel about yourself in your past. Now, be wary. Your perception of the past changes as your perception of yourself changes. So as you grow to get to know more about yourself, you might want to revisit these questions and think about these things. Because a lot of the time, by seeing more things about yourself, you're going to also open up to understand more about your past, right? Truly, journaling every day and reflecting on your life and what you feel and what's happening in your life it's a great way to get to know yourself and your personality better. And it's always interesting to compare these kinds of insights that you gather with other people. Do other people with my personality type feel the same way? How do other people respond to these things? And what are different ways to perceive the world? And what does this say about my own unique understanding of myself and the world? My suggestion number two is to become a Radiant member on my Patreon. I'm starting out a program with workshops monthly and so you have a chance to in the beginning of the first Friday of every month to enroll in a workshop where you get to, for example, design your own life, to reflect on habit settings, goals and things that you might want to do to achieve more in this life and in this year. You might also want to take my workshops to engage in self-introspection, personal growth together with other people. Typically, it's said that collaborative programs like these are the most beneficial for personal growth and people that attend these kinds of workshops and seminars have the most opportunities to learn more about themselves because we tend to contradictingly learn more about ourselves when we are interacting with other people. Isn't that strange? That's why my Patreon page is a community, a place where everyone can connect with not just me, but also with each other, and to be inspired by each other's examples. It's a place for you to learn more about yourself, and so it's a place for you to grow more as a person. My third suggestion is to interview your friends and family members. While it's no, important to know thyself, of course it's also important to know and understand other people. And so don't be afraid to ask your friends or family members to take a quick personality test. Why not? Or instead of a personality test, why not just engage in an open-ended interview with them? Try to figure out their values, their needs, what's important to them, what goals they've had in life, and what they would describe themselves as and how they see themselves. Feel free to engage in these journeys to get more understanding of others and to connect more with the people in your life. By knowing more about other people, you have a chance to learn more things about yourself. And often, our perception of other people is shaped by our perception of ourselves. And so, try your best to engage in a neutral and open and judgment-free discussion so that the other person has a chance to formulate their own identity and to, to you explain what it is that they want and they see and they care about from their own point of view, not just from your point of view, how you see them or what you think about them, but what they truly see the most in themselves. My suggestion number four is to try out some of my coaching sessions. My coaching sessions and personal portraits can be a way for you to get to know yourself better in a one-on-one -on -one setting. If you prefer to talk to me individually, I now offer special coaching and I'm a trained coach. I have studied coaching and I've worked on creating a place and a format which is good for you. And so I follow an evidence-based method which allows you to achieve more with your life, to become more self-confident, to become more self-aware, and to increase your energy and motivation. Finally, my suggestion number five is to set more quests for yourself. Yeah, set quests, goals, and small side quests and challenges 
uniquely fine-tuned for your personality. If you know that you have some kind of weakness or inferior function that's causing you troubles, why not set some small goals in your life to improve on work on these functions this year? Yeah, think about what you can do to stimulate yourself to have more fun, to learn more about these topics, engage in courses or engage in activities that help you practice and improve at these kinds of skills and find ways to improve and work on yourself. Your personality is a constantly a story that's being written. It's something that's unfolding right now. And so you have the chance to rewrite and to create your future self. And so personality is something we experience when we are focused on the topic of growth and personal discovery. Coaching can be a great investment in yourself and in your life. And sometimes the value that we get from these kinds of experiences can be even better than, say, the value of... Uh, short weekend vacation or city trip. Often it's when we take time to stop and listen to ourselves and we have a space to do that, that we realize the most about life. And that's when we set and start moving and changing our direction to something more positive and constructive for our own happiness and well-being. Anyways, those were my five suggestions for your personality. What are you looking forward to doing this year? What personal type are you? And what things would you like to work on or improve for the next 12 months. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.